Welcome back to another video of my gold tip series. In this episode I'll talk about the handicraft. And if you watched episode one, uh, you remember maybe that I said it's really important that we focus on the highly concentrated gold spots. And to achieve this we must master the handicraft before, you know. And that's the first thing a beginner has to learn, by the way. I would recommend to do this before you really go prospecting, etc. Because if you don't know how to use your pen or sluice box properly, it doesn't make sense to, to, to go really prospecting. The handicraft of a gold prospector consists of many things, even on a hobby level. Depending on the situation, different techniques have to be used. Beside pen and sluice box, there are many topics like apparel tips, efficient shoveling, using hand pumps, crevicing with special tools, pry bars, chisels, etc., coping with rocks and boulders, using metal detectors and many small tricks which can be extremely helpful. Like efficiently rowing a large rock away with a shovel, just to mention one. In most cases, our sluice boxes recover the gold very well, and as a beginner we have the tendency to worry way too much about losing some gold. It's only if you have very, very fine gold and clay, etc., that you really lose some. So how can you learn the handicraft uh, using the tools properly? There are sure good books, tutorials, etc., that's what, what I did first, but um, a professor of mine said once, some things have to get to the brain by your arm, not by your eyes, you know what I mean? You have to do this rather than, than just watch it. So to learn the handicraft, you have to do this. One of the best things I really recommend is uh, participating in some courses or you can uh, attend or be, become part of some, some mining communities like the New 49ers or something like that. I'm sure everywhere on, on, on the planet there are some such communities which you can uh, attend. And in these communities, the, the, your, your friends or colleagues can really show you how to set a sluice box properly, how to pan properly, etc. And they can help you if you do something wrong, etc. I would highly recommend to do this first, to first concentrate on learning the handicraft. I, I think there are some prospectors which became successful very fast. I wasn't one of them. I, it took me some time to, to have some success. And what they did, I observed the, using the tools, they, uh, they learned this very fast. And this was not their main focus. It was just the tools of them. So they were focused very fast on the goal, on to, where to find gold. So I recommend to learn this first before you really go out prospecting on your own. So this was a rather short episode. Next is coming soon. Thanks for watching. Good luck. <laughs>